I've been here 32 years, way back before my time. This is where all the cattle trails were. And they'd pass by here and they'd, they'd stop here and then they have to slaughter the cattle here. History goes way back. As opposed to today, it's all, they make it seem like it's scientific. You know, you, you, oh, you gotta cut it this way, or you gotta do this, or you gotta, when it's real simple, you just salt and pepper, a little cayenne, put it in the pit, take it out, no wrapping, we don't, we don't wrap anything. And uh, we know how many we need for the day. Just like I said, it's, it's real simplicity. Uh, we cook pork chops, pork ribs, beef ribs, pork belly, chicken, turkey. Most popular here is your sausage and your brisket. On a Saturday, we cook around 100 briskets. So the way we cook here, it's, it's, it's a lot higher heat than normal places. Uh, everybody's low and slow. We cook a little bit hotter. They trim their briskets. We don't. We trim on the block. So when you have your briskets, we, we, we flip them and we rotate them so that they all get cooked within that high heat. And there's different levels inside the pit on, on where it's hotter on certain spots. When I first started, pork chops were our big thing. More people started getting here and they're asking for more other things, so we added pork ribs. And everybody kind of forgot about the pork chops because our pork ribs are good, beef ribs are good. And now, like the pork chops, people that have never heard of it because all they hear is pork ribs, pork ribs, pork ribs. And they'll be looking at somebody else that's been coming here for 10, 15 years. Well, what's that that he's eating? And so that's a pork chop. Wow. When I first started uh, 32 years ago, on a Saturday, we do about maybe 100 shoulder clouds, as opposed, which is the lean shoulder, as opposed to maybe 20 briskets. Then 10, 15 years ago, it flip flopped. Now we put about 100 briskets as opposed to maybe 20 clouds. When I first put chicken here, I'm gonna burn it, or I'm gonna do that. But I said, Roy, just think of it as it's your brisket. It's, it might be smaller, but use the same process. You know, you'll turn it when you're supposed to. Don't just let it sit there and let it burn. So, but it, it's been fun to cook things that I didn't think I was ever gonna cook. And it's, it's like I said, have you learned everything you, you can in the 32 years you've been here? So no, every day it's a learning process. There's no gauges, uh, thermometers, you really don't use them, it's all field. You know, there's a pin that we use, a meat pin, and when we put it inside the brisket, we can tell if it's done, how much longer we're gonna need, even by look you can tell. We also slice too, so when you're slicing, you can tell how much, how done a brisket is, if it needs more time, if it doesn't need more time. Barbecue is big now, and it, to me, it's something that I love, but I also, the people that were here before me, they didn't have the luxury of cameras, uh, Facebook, the internet. I owe those people that were here before me that didn't have that privilege that I'm having now, so. I think it's a little bit different than other smaller restaurants. Like, we have to cook for a larger scale. So we have to stay consistent with the larger scale of barbecue, you know. You're talking 100 biscuits, 30 clods, 10 racks of pork chops, you know, and we got to stay consistent every day with the amount of customers that we have, you know. So in a food truck, you're, you're limited to, you know, four briskets, but we have to do 100 briskets and stay consistent with flavor and taste. And that's where Roy comes in, you know. Roy's a good guy, real humble, you know, he doesn't know he's famous, but he acts like he's not. And he just, he's a normal guy to himself, but he's, he's up there. You think of Christ Market, you think of Roy, his sideburns. I want you to go home full and, and, and happy. And you know, you just sit down on the table and you start talking to the guy in front of you. And oh, where are you from? Oh, what got you here? Because when you come here, you're in my backyard.